what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here since i'm on screen five again here today nev campbell recently has expressed interest in returning to reprise her role as sydney prescott in future installments and i just want to talk about those possibilities of what we could see from sydney given the events of screen five i also want to talk about the draft or the original draft i guess you could call it for screen five that has surfaced online it's available for everyone to read i'll leave a link to it down in the description just talk about some of the minor changes involving sydney in that script during the finale there's probably some other changes of course that you'll probably notice along the way i'm told or some people have called out the fact that in this draft you see that tara and amber are indeed a couple so for anyone who was hoping they would be a couple just like how they were or it sounded they were in the audition tapes and from the character descriptions that came out i guess that really was going to be a thing but they changed it up my guess is they probably changed it up due to jenna ortega again at the time being only 17 going on 18 and mikey madison was much older than her and they didn't want to really convey that on screen between between the two actresses that's just my opinion on that but jumping into nev campbell and her recent comment she did this she made this comment with a uh, screen rant talking about an interview or talking in an interview she said it would seem there's always more stories to be told in woodsboro and there is a taste for it so i think if people love this one i would imagine there will be an appetite and we of course would all love to be a part of it this we of course spoilers this is not a spoiler free area anymore uh i'll do my best to not spoil it in thumbnails or anything like that but this we she has to be referring to again if you don't want spoilers don't watch this we ultimately have to be referring to her and gail sydney and gail because dewey unfortunately did not make it out of the movie alive this time around uh if her and gail are the only two left out of the og trio and sydney is now in a position where i think i could see her being like a guardian of sorts for the carpenter sisters i don't want to have a movie where you spent so much time with these two sisters and developing them because they're the most developed out of the group that we got introduced to in the in this screen screen five film that we got so i don't want to have a scream six where we're now going back to the sydney narrative sydney 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 and the carpenters take a back seat sydney has been through so much she has had a lot of stories told and i just think that constantly digging for things in her past when you've created two new characters is one in, in specific sam carpenter who has a lot of stuff that was tacked onto that character that we didn't even really get to fully explore you have different narratives you could explore as potential motives for ghostface killers related to sam going into scream six going into scream seven i would just prefer to see nev campbell sydney prescott be as like a guardian of sorts to to the carpenters i don't think we should then make the carpenters basically supporting characters while nev takes back the reins or anything like that i don't want nev to be used as a crutch I want her to be in a Laurie Strode, Sarah Connor type of role if she is indeed involved. Now, how how much should she be involved? Like, I don't think she should be there 100 percent in the thick of things like uh, like how she wasn't in screen five. I get the fact that we could say she was underutilized and it's probably what's best in order for this this new incarnation of scream this new trilogy that we're hoping to get to stand on its own and be identified as something that's not sydney's story sydney's still here but it's no longer her story so i think that the long i think the more you would have her intertwined with the carpenters and not have sam and tara do a lot of things on their own the same way sydney did a lot of stuff on her own i think that would kind of just give an indication that you don't have faith in these characters to carry your narrative when indeed there are a lot of people who grew attached to these two sisters we have a chance to see a sibling bond that's completely different from the bond between sydney and roman because sydney was our protagonist roman was our villain sam was our protagonist and tara was not our villain and vice versa and they have a bond that they have formed or that has been i would say rekindled and i would like to see that just progress over time in the new trilogy that we're hoping to get because the other thing to think about with this is sydney could be in a position where over the years she's always longed for that relationship with roman to be different after knowing about him and what he went through and still having to of course be a part of killing her own brother i would imagine some part of her probably has longed to have a different relationship with him and maybe she sees some of that in the carpenters so she'll do anything in her power to make sure that that bond stays healthy even if that means they call her up sometimes for help about their trauma they're going through or maybe she even just shows up to help them with the next ghostface killing spree something like that 
I'm not saying Sydney can't directly be targeted, but the focus should remain on the Carpenters. That's just how I think this would be involved and how Sydney would probably still remain relevant because people say, well, how can Sydney get involved now? What would be her reasoning with Dewey gone? She could have developed some type of bond with the Carpenters over Tara and Sam constantly coming to her for after their tr after the events of Screen 5. And then again, this could be related to her longing to wish that she had that bond with her own brother that she never got to have. And we could hear some dialogue like that from Sydney in Scream 6 to kind of rationalize why she's still involved here. So going into the script changes. So there is a lot of different things that I noticed in this script. One, they take a lot of jabs at Ryan Johnson, a little, not a lot, but a few more jabs directly at Ryan Johnson for his directing of Stab 8 at the end in the finale from Amber and Richie. Amber also discloses that Stab 8 had three killers. There's this disclosure from Amber as well that she knew about Sam being Billy's daughter because Amber's uncle actually went to school with all of them and he knew Billy was hooking up with this girl behind Sydney's back. So I'm kind of glad we got the other alternative explanation that Sam's mom was just drunk talking and Amber overheard it one night. I like that. I prefer that better. Uh, Sydney has a much better phone call so far, I would say, with Ghostface from what I was reading. She there's references to screen for the whole new decade, new rules. She's basically, again, once the character is oozing with so much confidence, calling the killer of a an inferior Billy Loomis, I'll just say to sum it up and mocking them because she's so confident that she's going to kill them just like she's killed all the other ones. And I think she also makes references to the fact that she has seen all these movies and guess how they always end. I kill them all. There's just little quips like that. We don't have that moment where she, I guess, hang up, hangs up on the kill. I might be wrong because, again, I didn't read the script in full, but those are some minor details. And, uh, Richie has a, a jab at Sydney where he's like, well, Sam wouldn't be here if you would have opened your legs sooner for Billy like he wanted you to. And it's just like these bits of dialogue, I think, would have made that finale a lot more intense and a lot more personable for a lot of moments and would have given us more to stand on as it relates to rooting for our final girls and that that battle that they all went through in the in, in Amber's house, Stu's house formerly. But I'll again leave a link to the script down in the description. Let me know what you think about think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.